And you know why I won't lose? Because the country, in the end, they're not going to have a man who who's shot. He's shot. He's mentally shot. Let him come out of his basement, go around. I'll make four or five speeches a day. I'll be interviewed by you. I'll be interviewed by the worst killers that hate my, my guts. They hate my guts. There's nothing they can ask me that I won't give them a proper answer to. Some people will like it. Some people won't like I it. I agree with that. But look. You let, answer the let questions. Let Biden sit through an interview like this. He'll be on the ground crying for mommy. He'll say, mommy, mommy, please take me home. I, I agree with that. So I'm only here because of President Obama and the job he did and sleepy Joe Biden and the job that he didn't do other than he did a good job for his son. Did a good job for his son. Ten days after the first identified case of coronavirus in the United States, right. you implemented it a travel ban, followed by a quarantine that hadn't had happened in 50 years, and then subsequent travel bans. Joe said it was hysteria, xenophobic. He never said xenophobic, because I don't think he knows what the word means. But I, I agree with that. A lot of governors are here, and uh, some we're going to leave out. <laughs> Because I don't like them. I, 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 I agree with that. Uh, just a quick question about that. So you haven't made any contact, though, just to make sure. With who? The North Koreans. I don't want to say, I, I want to say that. Okay. Um, we so. have a good relationship with North Korea. As good as you can have. I mean, we have a good relationship with North Korea. And I think it was a fake report done by CNN. Can I ask you a question? What do you have? Go ahead. No, that's enough. Go ahead. Can I ask? But that wasn't my question. The problem is you don't write the truth. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, what, I, I, agree want with go, that. I want to go to the next Can I ask you a question about Rip No, not CNN, please. Go ahead. The White House has not you don't, responded to I told you. CNN is fake news. Don't talk to me. Go ahead, please. But, you know, I have two questions. One on behalf of a colleague who's not here because of social distancing. Uh, just ask one, please. Hi, Mr. President. Yemi Shell Center with PBS NewsHour. Um, on the campaign trail, you called yourself a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also I saying that say the president. Such a racist. There question. are some people that say that yeah. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. That. I don't what do you that. make of that? I don't believe. I just well, I don't know. Why do I have my highest poll numbers ever with African Americans? Why do I have among the highest poll numbers with African Americans? That's such a racist question. Honestly, I mean, I know you have it written down and you're going to tell me. Let me tell you, it's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, President, I love it. You know what the word is? I love our country. I do. You call, you have nationalists, you have globalists. And I don't mind helping the world, but we have to straighten out our country first. We have a lot of problems. And Miss. We don't call him shifty shift for nothing. He's a shifty, dishonest guy. Shifty, Who, dishonest the way, guy. Critical of one of the great Secretary of States, graduated number one in his class at West Point, graduated top of it, one of the top in his class at Harvard Law School, the most honorable person, Mike Pompeo. And this guy was negative on Mike Pompeo. Shifty, dishonest guy. He can't, you know, there's an expression. He couldn't carry his blank strap. I won't say it because they'll say it was so terrible to say. I agree with that. But that guy couldn't carry his blank strap. Do you understand that? Very nice. Getting a good picture, everybody, so we look nice and handsome and thin. I agree with that. Because almost everything the Washington Post does is fake. It's a fake newspaper. It's owned by a rich guy for the purposes of giving him power uh, in Washington. So these two reporters wrote this book. And they said, I want to moat with alligator snakes, electrified fences, so people get electrocuted if they so much as touch the fence and spikes on top. It was a lie. Just so you have it, you ask the question. It was a total lie. It was corrupt reporting. Okay? I agree with that. I don't even use fake anymore. I call the fake news now corrupt news because fake isn't tough enough. And I'm the one that came up with the term. I'm very proud of it. But I think I'm going to switch it largely to corrupt news because it's corrupt. You have corrupt media in this country. And it truly is the enemy of the people. Thank, Thank you, you very that. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, so tomorrow with the fake news, here's your headline. Here's your headline. You know, we have thousands of people outside wanting to get in, they can't, because you people got here first. But, so here's your headline tomorrow. Protesters disturb the right. One protester, a very weak voice. 
Now, she's going home to mom, where she will be in big trouble. Because I guarantee you that mom voted for Trump. And in 10 years from now, when I run yet again, She'll be voting for Trump, too. I agree with that.